Ensure motor power has been locked out or disconnected as appropriate. Close all feed valves to the pump and flush the pump housing chamber to remove any residual fluid. Remove the pump cover by removing the four retaining nuts, which we have previously done for purposes of the video. Checking the gaps between the lobe tip and the housing segment. Slide filler gauge in. This is approximately 40 thousandths. So to reduce this gap, we must close in the housing segments, which is performed by removing the bolts from the flange ring and quench chamber for the current, current pin location and the intended location for the pin. The standard pin location are the outermost four bolt holes indicated here, the same bolts which hold the rear cover on. The next smaller adjustment would be the four bolts indicated here, and the smallest adjustment would be the four bolts indicated here. The concept would be to remove the pins from the wider set of holes, moving them inward to the next adjustment or to the smallest adjustment as necessary. Using a 12 millimeter bolt or similar device, press the pin from its current location. Be prepared to grab the pin to ensure that it does not spring away. Using a rubber mallet, knock the housing segments inward toward the lobes until the center or topmost bolt hole is aligned between the flange ring and housing segment. Next, remove the bolts for the desired pin location. Loosen the remaining bolts holding the housing segment as well. This process should be repeated for the front and rear bolts. Next, using a rubber mallet, knock the housing segments inward toward the lobes until the center or topmost bolt hole is aligned between the flange ring and housing segment. If the housing segments still resist movement, it may be necessary to loosen all transition fitting bolts to lessen resistance. Next, press the spring pin into the new position until it is flush with the surface of the flange ring.
once this process has been completed for all pins, refasten all bolts to the flange ring, quench chamber, and transition fittings. Open all feed valves, return the pump to operation. Now that all the bolts have been retightened, the pins have been moved to the first pin location, we recheck our gap, which was originally 40 thousandths, now reduced to 11 thousandths. We consider this a successful pin relocation.